Welcome to EJ Bits. Today I'll be reviewing and testing out all of these kitchen gadgets and tools from Master Z. So stay tuned until the very end of the video since each product will be given a minute or two for both the unboxing and the actual testing of the product. So if you're interested in any of these items, the links for all of these products are individually listed down below in their Shopee Mall page. First, we have the very popular food processor. This one is a hand crank food processor, again from Master Z. The link for this is down below. You can see that it has a paddle. Very solid plastic build quality. And as you can see, it's hand crank. So you pull on it and these blades will spin. You have a total of four very, very sharp blades. So be careful with this. And it's also easy to clean and it locks in place. So this paddle is used for egg whites and many other different applications. Now we move on to the testing of the blade attachment. So we had in a whole head of garlic and in a few pulses, we achieve our desired mince. So it's a fine mince. I've added in some onions here. And now let's add in our roast beef marinade, soy sauce, sugar, salt, pepper, a few more pulses. And now we have our marinade. So huge thumbs up for this product. This knife sharpener from Master Z will definitely sharpen your knives in a few strokes. The unboxing experience is very simple, soft touch plastic, very durable build quality with non-slip rubber pads at the bottom. Easy to use three-step process. Let me show you how to use this product. Here we have a very dull knife, as you can see right here. It can't cut paper. As you can see, it's having trouble slicing the paper. So first we start with the leftmost, the metal grind, as you can see. A few strokes with this one. We move on to the second one, the diamond grind. This is going to sharpen the burr created by the first grind. Lastly, we have the sharpening stone. This will hone the very edge of the knife and remove any metal fragments. Here we have the final edge after 15 strokes per step. So that's a total of 45 strokes. Let's take a look at the sharpness. As you can see, it slices paper very smoothly, as you can see. Very nice and swift strokes. Huge thumbs up for this product. This kitchen gadget from Master Z is a 6-in-1 grate and slice set. Very similar to a mandolin slicer, but it's so much more than that. Very simple unboxing process. You have your hand guard protector so that you don't accidentally slice your finger. Now we have the actual mandolin slicer. It's made of plastic. At the bottom, we have a few grates and not slip rubber feet. Here we have the grater attachment, good for your ginger and garlic. Here we have a julienne slicer for your carrots and other ingredients, easily inserted into the mandolin slicer. Here we have the actual blade for your potato chips. We have an even thinner julienne for your other ingredients such as onions. And lastly, we have here a waffle fries cutter. I'll show you all of these later. So now let's start with our julienne slicer just easily insert it into the machine it only goes in one way we have here a red onion using the hand guard for your hands protection and your fingers will stay intact as you can see it slices very very quickly just you know use very swift strokes and that's not a problem for this multi-purpose slicer as you can see good for salads and other dressings now we have the actual mandolin blade slicer it only goes one thickness as you can see it's also very sharp. It's able to slice squash, potato, and many other ingredients into a very thin chip-like structure. Now we have the waffle cutter. So make sure that you turn your potato every swipe 90 degrees. So just turn it every so 90 degrees so that you have this waffle shape. And as you can see right here, it's able to slice potato in a very, very nice and fun shape. Huge thumbs up for me. This is a very unique whisk. It's automatic. So let's see how this works. So as you can see, this is the whisk itself, made of stainless steel. Very simple build quality. It's more or less a solid product. And as you can see, when you press down, it will mix. Very simple product and let's show you how to use it. So just press down and it will automatically mix. It's easier than a regular whisk and it's also small so it can reach, as you can see, the bottom of the bowl, no problem. So now we are whisking eggs. Let's add in milk. We are currently making a very simple Yorkshire pudding recipe. It's very simple. It's equal parts volumetric milk, eggs, and flour. So I'm using kamote flour for this. You can use regular flour for yours. You can add baking powder as well. 
And as you can see, you are able to whisk with one very simple motion. Huge thumbs up for me, product available down below. Now we have a very simple peeler. It does the job. It has a very sharp stainless steel blade. And the very unique thing is it can go forwards and backwards. Very nice light colored green. And let's move on to actually the usage of the product. So we have your potato. As you can see, go forwards and backwards. And you have very easy strokes. The potato is very small, a little bit hard to peel. But as you can see, light work with this product. So as you can see, we have here this small lip at the very end. That's to remove any impurities or any bad spots in your potato. We have a different type of peeler. This is called the pea peeler. As you can see, it has a very nice silicone, non-stick handle. Very nice to hold. Again, the same technology here, forwards and backwards for your blade. As you can see, it works and it's very sharp as well. So that's a huge thumbs up for me. Choose which peeler you like in the description down below. It's both available. This top part is used again for removing any unwanted bits in your produce. Very huge thumbs up for me. Here we have a very functional product from Master Z, the multi-purpose scissors. It's made of high quality stainless steel, very good build quality overall. And the unique thing about this product is it comes apart. Each scissor comes apart for whatever reason. Again, very high quality stainless steel. You can use this serrated edge to pound your chicken to tenderize it. Or you can also do other activities once you remove and detach. It also has, as you can see right here, this bottle opener part right here. So again, very huge thumbs up for me. If you're looking to replace your grater once and for all, Master Z has you covered. As you can see, it has a very nice handle right here. The stainless steel top, as you can see, very, very sharp. And it's a typical grater. You can use this for cheeses, carrots, garlic, lemon zest, orange zest, and many different applications. As you can see right here, high quality stainless steel. It has the logo. Huge thumbs up for me. These cooking utensils from Master Z may just replace all of your cooking utensils at home once and for all. With its very modern design, plastic and ergonomic handle, as well as a very, very thick, high quality stainless steel, these are a rare find. As you can see, we have the solid turner. Very, very thick, high quality, full grade stainless steel, of course. We also have here the soup ladle, as you can see. It's very thick as well. Not too deep, the soup ladle itself, but it's definitely something that I'll be using for a very long time. Now we have the slotted ladle. As you can see right here, it's not as deep as the soup ladle. Same thickness, I'll be showing you the use case for this later. It can strain your deep fried goods. Now we have the slotted turner, as you can see. A little bit thinner than the solid turner, but still same in thickness and high quality. The slotted ladle, as you can see, can be used to scoop up any fried goods this is tofu and it really works like a charm. As you can see, you can reduce the amount of oil and the same for chicken katsu. As you can see right here, this slotted turner is good with deep fried goods. Overall, thumbs up for me. This is the strainer everybody looks for. This is from Master Z, the link's down below. And it has very, very thin holes. Again, made of very, very good stainless steel. And this is good for your deep frying journey. Remove any floating bits from this oil, some powdery flour burnt bits. You can also remove scum from soups and many other different applications using this strainer. Now we have the tin opener of the highest quality with a non-slip grip, very, very nice quality. It's super solid and it's very easy to use. Just pop the can and just start turning. It's as simple as that. And now you have your cans open and very simple so we have here the first can right here to test it out with as you can see it works very very well and as you can see if you look at the actual edge of your can lid it's okay to hold here we have an easy open can but i chose to open it using this tin opener since it's a very satisfying experience and the quality is extremely high on this one. The link for this is down below. It works like a charm. Huge thumbs up for me. And thank you for watching this video. Comment down below if you purchased any of these products from the video. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for my future review videos. I have lots of review videos ranging from kitchen gadgets 
to household appliances and many more. So stay tuned for the next video. Thank you so much for watching.